Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Whoopi speaking, and I go on on this experiment to take out some power of the flyback spike of this low voltage coil here, as per Gotoluk uh, proposed. Okay. Tonight I will try to answer with this video some of the questions I have been asked for at the overunity.com or on the previous video, and uh, I will first test the power of this assistant coil how many it participate to the rotation I will try it okay then I will try to add a second capacitor that is the same as this one one microfarad and to add it with this pin here to the coil to see the difference it could take on the trace at the uh, on the scope, okay, and finally, uh, I will show you how I have made some uh, trimming to get the good sweet uh, spot for the main coil and the other one assistant coil. Okay, okay. First, we'll try to see how much uh, the power of the assistant coil. Okay, first we go. Okay. Always four point. Uh, try to get always the same. Something more here. Okay. Ah, four. Four point five volt. We'll wait. Wait now for the power until the rotor is at the good speed. You see always the same trace here on the scope. And we see that we have about here 120 milli ampere. Okay. Okay. Now what I will do, I will put my main coil here away of the system here to see if the assistant coil can continue the rotation alone without the main coil but when can stay connected we use it but only the flyback spike and not the magnetic field okay so I put it away now like this and what we notice that uh, there is more power now we need some more power and the coil is no more used but the rotor is spinning and if you look at the trace it seems that the flyback is much more strength <laughs> bizarre okay so when we don't use the magnetic field of this coil we only use the flyback it is it needs more power so I will put this now coil here on a metal piece like this with a small air gap as a small yellow paper and so we see that now the speed is going something down but we retrieve the original 120 milliampere milliamps okay and we retrieve the almost normal trace here on the assistant coil Aha, very good and the rotor is always spinning but this time it is not very high but it spins let's check yes 1094 rpm okay <laughs> That is to say that now we are simply spinning, the rotor is spinning on simply this coil and the capacitor here. This main coil is no more in uh, the magnetic field is no more used. We only use the flyback when the re switch is off. So it is quite powerful. We can get about 1100 rpm 
on this rotor only on the flyback recuperation. Woohoo! Fantastic, isn't it? Okay. Okay, now I will take back the main coil and put it here. And so the speed go up. The power is always, we wait until 120. Yes, we are slowly arriving at this point. Difficult to say exactly. You see the trace now. Mm -hmm. And we have Okay, about 1590 RPM about. Okay, now what I will do, I will add a new capacitor to see the influence on the total system. Okay, I take the capacitor, see the trace without the second capacitor, only one capacitor. Now I put Hmm, difficult with one end. Yes. Okay, it is done. And look at the trace now. The average is now at about nine, nine volt, but much less peak. Only 60, 60 volt at the peak, but wider. Hmm, very interesting. And is it good or not good for the RPM? Okay, let's see now. Mm -hmm. No, it's not so good. We have lost some RPM. Not so good. Okay. So, for this system, probably it is better to get higher voltage. Mm -hmm. Good. Now the last point I wanted to show you. I could adjust my coil very precisely and the reed switch very precisely because I can put away the main coil here and then as this one is strong enough to, to uh, spin the rotor I can move it like this and find the sweet spot so i think now i am at the best i can do and i did the same with the switch on the main coil okay i hope this helped and i am very happy that uh, this uh, recuperation of the flyback bug is quite powerful in fact with one capacitor and probably the best uh, way to get it is to get a high voltage. Perhaps I should try a smaller capacitor. Okay, I think it is the answer of a lot of questions. Thanks for watching. Good night at all.